It's time for us to take a look at some of our Alaska news for Tuesday, June 27th, 2017. There were two brown bear attacks over the weekend. They actually reported on the same day. On Saturday, in one case, a man who was walking out near Hope saw a bear, tried to climb a tree to get away from it. It climbed up after him and swatted him out of the tree. Apparently, there was a cub nearby, and the sow felt threatened by his presence, and swatting him down out of the tree was her way of letting him know that climbing a tree is not a good idea when being chased by a bear. In the other case, two bicycle riders on Joint Base Summit of Richardson down near Anchorage, were, they were just riding along. They were already hyper aware of the possibility of a bear attack because of the recent fatal bear attacks that have happened around the state. They said the rustling happened so quickly, they saw the brown bear, and it was on him in just a matter of seconds. One of the bicyclists was again taken off the bike by the bear. He tried to get the bike in between himself and the bear as she was biting and scratching him. The other fellow who was bicycling with him actually happened to have bear spray on him and emptied the entire canister right in the bear's face, which got the bear to leave them alone, but she didn't leave the area. That's when they looked up and saw that there was a cub in the tree. So they managed to get themselves out of there, slowly backing away from the bear. Once again, a reminder that even being on a bicycle, you cannot outrun a bear. A former library employee at the Norwegian Library in Fairbanks has been accused of stealing $10,000 from the foundation that was trying to raise money for the library. They say it's the first time in the 40 years of the foundation that they've ever had anything like that happen, and now they're actually formalizing the relationship as this woman who was an employee of the library, of the borough, not of the foundation. Now they're, they're formalizing this relationship so that employees will not be handling the foundation's money. Some of the teachers who got pink slipped down in Anchorage may be getting their jobs back now that the legislature has funded more education. However, they're not sure if all of them will be coming back or if they'll be back in the same classrooms that they were in before. A lot of the uncertainty surrounding political jobs. The Sullivan Arena has posted a $600,000 operating loss for the last year. and This is actually before the Aces even exited. As you recall, the Sullivan is one of those partnership kind of deals where the city of Anchorage actually owns it. And they also have an agreement with the person who operates it that if it runs a loss, the city of Anchorage is on the hook. So now the taxpayers in Anchorage will be helping to bail the Sullivan Arena out of a $600,000 hole. Meanwhile, part of the reason that they're saying the problem is that this other private arena opened up and took some of the business away that other arena hasn't made enough money yet either to really be considered making a profit either. Part of it could be the fact that maybe Anchorage just isn't big enough to be able to have a venue as big as the Sullivan Arena and actually be profitable. Remember, Anchorage has more than half of the people in the entire state of Alaska in it. Many more stories than we have time for. As always, we do invite you to become a paid subscriber at radiofreespeech.com. I will email you 30 to 40 minutes of audio news that you can listen on your way to work. Send me an email if you'd like a free sample. Steve at radiofreespeech.com.